Hello guys, how you doing, how you been, and welcome to a video, and it's basically going to be a pro lookalike video, it's going to be my guy. Some people have requested this before, so I thought I'd actually make it for them, and so then they could have my guy if they really wanted. Um, I'm not too sure why people would want to have me, because obviously my pro is actually what like like me. But anyway, this is the information that I have, obviously I have my name, my full name, my known as, obviously Rixie. Kit number number one, nationality English, and I have my birthday there as well. I'm not too sure why on FIFA it says I'm 19, like when it comes up with like how many saves in game you've got. But I'm actually 20, so I'm not too sure what that's about. Maybe they just they don't automatically update it when FIFA's out. Maybe that's what the case is. But anyway, let's go on to the hair. So the hairstyle I have is a medium, and I have a clean hairstyle. I've had this for quite a long time in real life. I normally have a bit shorter on the sides, but the, the, the sort of top is kind of what I normally have anyway. And I decided to have this. I've had this for like... I think one or two FIFAs now, and it's been my hairstyle ever since then. I've ne never really liked anything else on FIFA. So the next bit is obviously facial hairstyle. I've just got a casual beard on this. I like the casual beard. If you don't have it, you look like a real big baby face, and I don't really want that on the game. Um, I do generally normal normally have stubble, but I don't normally have a casual beard. But I just think it looks quite nice on my guy anyway. So the next bit is the position, obviously, as expected. I'm a goalkeeper. And then I have a acrobatic playing style. You can see my diving is 90, uh, sorry, 79. Handling 72, kicking is 67, positioning 72, reflex 79. Obviously, they're not the best they could be at the moment. Obviously, I haven't got all the accomplishments yet on Xbox One. If it was on PC, it would be completely different. But the next bit is the physical. 6 for 4, um, 178 pounds, body type lean, and then preferred foot right. And I'm not going to read out every single stat, as you can see below. But you guys get a general idea of what my guy is. Um, he's obviously, like I said, not the best that he could be. I wish he was better, because obviously it would mean it'd be, a, it'd be a lot easier for me in the, in the whole goalkeeping sense and VFL and stuff like that so it's not it's not too bad I, I'm not really complaining too much but the next bit that you guys will be seeing in a minute is the is what boots I have and the boots that I do use are the Puma Evo Power Tricks I've had these from the beginning of FIFA as well I really like these and they are possibly some of my favorite boots I, I don't know why but I like the pink and the blue mixture something different people normally just have like bright orange boots or something I thought why not have something like this Completely different, really like it. So the next bit is obviously my accessories. This has got all the stuff on here. You've got the angle tape, you've got the tape colour, you've got a kit fit. Um, you can see you can just basically copy this all. And I around my wrist I do have sweatbands and they're white. You can see them actually in game and stuff, but you just can't see them when you're creating your pro on this, which is a bit of a disappointment, but it's pretty cool. Hopefully they'll do that in the actual FIFA 16. You never know, they might do, they might not do. And then moving on to the last bit, which is my traits. And as you can see, these are the only traits I use. So I have flat kick, long throw. Um, diving header, not diving header, sorry, driven pass, fancy passes, and skill dribbling. These are my five traits that I use. I use skill dribbling because obviously, if you get in those sticky situations, you want to be easily be able to maneuver your guy. Uh, fancy passes, just in case I need to quickly do something, fancy passes do help you sometimes. And then driven pass, obviously, for those long balls, and then obviously the two goalkeeper ones. I don't use goal goalkeeper for corners, I never really use it. If I do, then I just run up myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, you guys have requested it a few times, so I thought I'd actually bring it to you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.